This is Dave. And Nancy. And we are back to play some more Fallout 4. A um, little bit of a slight delay getting the stream tonight because of a work-related event, but I think we're pretty much ready to go. Um, let's see. So I think what everybody was most interested in was seeing the uh, hallucinogen thing for old Fred. And also the Cabot House. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. And the winner of our poll for despite a late surge for Nick was Kate. But uh, all of you Nick retreaters can vote for him next week. Nick or treaters? Yep. I went okay. there. Okay. Nick or treaters. Um, since as per the current rules, we're going to go ahead and pull the people who have... You know, change the people each week. The man retains great. Just don't get hooked like old Kent. Poor bastard's practically stuck in the past. Yeah, I don't know where uh, Hancock got to, but we can figure that out. Didn't you tell him to go back to uh, Sanctuary? Oh, that's right. I did the whole switcheroo last time. Yeah. So now you have to head back to Sanctuary and come that back here after that. Because. And we decided we uh, yeah. changed the um, resolution we're streaming at to hopefully get things a little bit smoother. So we'll have to see if that works out a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Map. And Sanctuary. And we're also going to drop off our current thing of power, power armor. armor. I don't know. Strong was so upset with us because we, you know, put on the power armor. Maybe he'll get happy once we take it off. I think at this point, nobody gives two shits about Strong. <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't like anything like, we do. Like, seriously, no shits were given. Behold the field in which I grow my fucks. Tis barren. That's fair. <laughs> and one thing is the Strong, you actually do get... Approval from Strong based on all your killing. But, uh, you know, he doesn't necessarily show that, so it's not really visible. Well, and he's a super mutant. Oh, man. I've who got doesn't a... understand the milk of human kindness. And I've got a... You are overladen. How much crap am I carrying right now? Oh, actually... We can actually look at that and see how much crap I'm carrying. How much weight are you packing? Oh, only 243. What's your max uh, human void weight without power armor? 230. So we can fix that. Y you know, there's a lot of things that can be fixed, but some things can't. And strong is one of them. You can't fix strong. You oh. fat ass archer. Well, you know, it wouldn't be such a problem if he didn't pick up every single, you know, Dang desk you. fan that he like wasn't nailed it. down. Oh, such a hoarder. If somebody didn't want their desk fan stolen, they should have nailed it down. Obviously. Of course. That's so silly. It's too bad we can't rename her to be uh, to Framboise. Francois. Framboise. Of whatever. Barry's almost fiancé. How about Fembot 2000? That would work too. Yeah, now we have to do the thing of where the hell is Kate at? Yeah, but then he also steals all of these medications and stuff that he doesn't take. I mean... Well, you know, desk fans. Yes, yes, I'm a hoarder. Who are you? You're a hoarder. Oh, that's McCready. McCready, what are you doing in my house? Oh, wait, no, this isn't my house. Yeah, this, is... this is what happens when I'm not paying attention. Yeah, that's the thing. You end up with, like, this clearinghouse of all these random people, of all your companions that you picked up. And occasionally one of them does sleep in your bed. Yeah, it's like, are it's you like, trying It's like, excuse to... me, what, what the hell are you doing in my house? Like, <laughs> Sheffield. Sheffield's always sleeping in your bed. It's like, you know, I'm not sure what you want, Sheffield, but I am uncomfortable with this. Just because I gave you that Nuka Cola doesn't mean that that's a you know thumbs up go ahead. 
Yeah, that you can just sleep in my room and I never you know, said we're you best could sleep with, Yeah, I mean, we're, it's not like that. So there's the original settlers. Oh boy. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we just had a cat jump into one of jump up at one of our game systems. And now and he's wedged. now he's behind our PlayStation Three. He's peering out like it's his own personal little cave. It's a cat cave. Meow. <laughs> Seriously, Kate, where the hell? Uh, let's see. I mean, at this point, I've checked most of the houses. You know, I really wish you could sit there and like have a like there was a marker on the map of where exactly in your. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, that's never good. But we just gave our cats a, a treat, a wet treat, which our our boys completely scarfed. I think that's the cleanest I've ever seen the bottom of the bowl uh, after a treat. <laughs> yeah, the cat watching the stream makes me think of the... Uh... Horror movie watching cat. Oh, yeah. The horror movie watching cat. That was... Yeah, just freaking out. Is she out. over by the... Did you check the cook station? Um, I, yeah, I was over there, but... It's like, no, Garvey, nobody wants to find you. Wait, who's that? Oh, there she is. I see how you're looking at me. Not saying I don't like it. Just thought I'd clear the air. Oh. <clears throat> Ready to head back out? Yes, please. Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. Strong find milk of human kindness on own. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> Never mind. I don't want uh, to know. Strong wants to milk Archer. The uh. only way he can milk Archer. I think he thinks that's what the milk of human kindness is. That's just we kind don't of terrifying. Have a, we don't have a cow, but we have a bull. Yeah. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna... Let's see, I'm gonna stow that shotgun. <laughs> Fuck you, Strong and Preston. Well, yeah, that's a legit complaint. gripe. That's, yeah. a, that's a legit complaint, I mean... For those who aren't aware, with Preston, the problem is that he gives you radiant quests that are related to the Minutemen. And if you talk to him, he's gonna just give you more shit to do that you have that's timed. Yeah, he he gives you okay. Um, no, he re regularly gives you. I'm gonna save the Ash Maker for the minute. But Maybe yeah. if he wants to pull out the Ash Maker when when we pull it out, then. Then it will be the time to name it. Yeah. But yeah, so Preston get, constantly gives you new quests, and if you talk to him for anything, if you don't have three of his quests already, he will give you something else to do. And it's kind of funny, because when I played on survival mode, I actually got um, Preston stuck in the basement of the... Uh, he was the companion stuck in the basement of the... Uh... Wasn't it where the beer bot was? No, he was stuck in the basement where I rescued... Uh... Yeah, where I rescued Kent from. So every time I had to turn in one of his quests, I had to go back. Not that you did that that frequently, because there's... It, when you can't fast travel, there's just... There's no way. Yeah, You well... would be halfway there, and you get notification that the place you were heading was under attack, and you're like, well, fuck it. I, what am I going to do now? I'm like halfway there, and by the time I actually get there, it's going to be just a fucking mess. So they're saying Hallucinogen Comics is somewhere over, or Hallucinogen Comics. Yeah, that's going to that be, be That would actually be quite interesting, Hallucinogen Comics. Yeah, it's somewhere over this way, but I'm going to start from Good Neighbor. Well, it's, you saw Huber's comic. Yeah. But I don't know what's the necessarily the best route through the streets. So I know I can get there from Good Neighbor. Yeah, but you, it's a marked place on your map. I know. Uh, Huber's comic says I need to go to Hallucinogen. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
the hell is that? That is a gamma gun, I think. Oh, okay. I still need to talk to Hancock, but I can do that later. And now for your daily recommended dose of loading screens. This just looks like a pod chair. Oh, that's kind of neat. The good neighbor was actually built around the remains of Boston's old red light district. I can completely see that. Well, the fact that the red light district, for the most part, was intact. Tells you a few things about Boston. The safest place to be was someplace where hookers were. We're going to make our own town with blackjack and hookers. And then everybody I said, you know, that's a good plan. That's a great idea. Let's let's get on that. Mm. Today's just one of those days. Mm. Mm. All right. I'll be honest, I don't really even have any stories right now. Uh-oh, I think there's super mutants around. Yeah, they'd be around the corner. Two corners to the left. Yeah, they're fighting with somebody, so... They're fighting with somebody else, but I think... Yeah, because isn't that their little... Yeah, that's a little hidey hole. So enemies in some of these areas will actually respawn. Which is why sneaking is so... Yeah. Integral. Fuck up a second. Uh. Oh, rust devils. Oh. Ooh, a Mr. Handy Wrecker. Whoa. Where the hell did you come from? He snuck up behind you. You know, I really didn't want to pick a fight with y'all, but... You know, if you you start it, and I'll end it. The Rust Devils, I think we saw them for the first time uh, in the last stream. Yeah, out in the wastes. Yeah, they are an add-on from one of the DLCs, and they actually wear... Uh, did, you, did you get the corpse that was out in front that you didn't kill? Oh, yeah, I don't know if I checked that one. But yeah, they actually wear robot parts as makeshift armor. Yeah, like, I love it when they wear an iBot helmet. <laughs> they look ridiculous. It It's really ridiculous. It looks like they're trying to be, like, football players. <laughs> <laughs> so they are, yeah, there's just one of the add-ons from the Mechatron, Mechanist deal. Oh, hello. Uh, check up above you to the left. Well, that's your typical super mutant, you know, just basically sneaking and walking down the middle of the street while doing so. I am stealthy. No, you're not. Okay, I'm getting close to my objective, and something is looking for me. Oh, well. No, no, you're hidden again. You're good. Yeah, you know, at least. You know, I think this did clean up a lot of the a lot of the uh pixelation, pixelation but it's still pixelating yeah i don't think i really want to go much less much needed. less much much less in your you might be able to go down to 320 320 uh, or 360 high yeah well yeah we'll see but i, I, I think it's more just around the edges mm -hmm. that's frequently. that's a little bit more bearable i mean it's not perfect and God, I, I hate to say it, that we might have had slightly better with Comcast. Oh, God. I just... Feel so dirty. I feel same. so dirty. So dirty now. I feel like a corporate shill. Because uh, uh. like all good, good Americans, we hate Comcast. We hate it. Well, then again, every time we've ever had Comcast and then we had to cancel Comcast because we were moving, they always sit there. It's almost like, you know, breaking up with, with a girlfriend. A really clingy one. The, the clingy type was like, what can I do to make you... What, what can I do to make you stay with me? You know? Is it something I said? Is it something I did? What can I do better? Yeah. 
It's like, no, no, it's not you. It's me. It's me. I'm going someplace. You, you don't, you don't exist there. Huh. You can take me with you. No. Huh. So this is actually a backdoor to Lucinogen Inc. I could take it, but then I would end up, you know, avoiding a bunch um, of the fun. Tripwire. Yeah. So, why don't they take the, uh, ooh, discovered it. That would be nice. It would be nice if Google Fiber were coming to our location. I very much doubt it. I mean, when you live in a jabumfuck location like this. Yeah, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we're not quite the sticks, but we're close. Yeah, but we could always hope. Well, this, how about this? We're, we're not the sticks. The, sni the sticks are our next door neighbor. Fair enough. And his trashy girlfriend. Don't know why she's trashy. She just seems yeah. to be. I don't know. What was that on the floor? Uh, let's... In the corner. Okay. Okay, I thought it was bullets. Yeah. You know what we are, You know what our problem is for Archer right now? He isn't drinking. Sobriety. Sobriety is a real concern in this this world. Well, let's have some bourbon. It's really too bad you can't make him a nice iced peppermint patty. Or a hot peppermint patty. Well, a peppermint patty. There we go. So this is a really weird area. Kind of kind of freaky, but I like it. Story of my life. You know, that makes a lot of suggestions about me. Oh. Okay, this one's got a... She's got her sights on somebody else. I'll go ahead and pop her head. You know, this is how much use those army, old army helmets are. You know how to show a girl a good time. Yeah, this glowing green mist, I'm sure that bodes very well for us. Also, the fact that Kate came walking in and was like, I can't fucking breathe. <laughs> the hell is this? Do you know, hey, you know, let the rabble kill themselves. Pretty much. I'm not taking the telephone or the, the drug to water. Oh, that's not good. Why, why don't you why don't you pick one up? Maybe you can sell it to the guy who uh, you sold true. that uh, hubris flower to. Let's take a look at the reception terminal. Is it hubris? Huh? Yeah. Hubis. Hubis flower, I think it was. Yeah. A chemical le leak has been detected. Verify that all executive staff have been escorted to safety, then leave the building immediately. Non-executive staff can go fuck themselves. Well, you can tell this is a corporation. Uh, let's see. Intake forms 12A through 12H. This is their test subject intake procedures. Offer of a Oh, God. They started drugging them, in the, drugging them when they were, uh, when they showed up before they signed any of the forms. And when instructed, complete form 12I, dismissal, 12J, accident report, or 12K, fatal accident report. Hmm. Chemical emergencies. Evacuate the Science staff, okay. Terminate experiments. Um... I hope I hope that doesn't mean terminating the people in the experiments, but you never know. Uh, mm, probably. And chemical agents may take days or weeks to disperse naturally. Leads to the question, how long has this chemical leak been going on? I mean, essentially, has this been going on since the, uh... Since the bombs fell, or did these idiots cause it? A good question. Always a valid question, because... Oops. So there's somebody over there, but I don't know if he has actually seen me or... He... I don't think he did. He might perceive you, but... Whoa, whoa. You hear that? A chemical leak has been detected. Please... And he has a friend, I think. 
The real question is, is he above or below you? Because you're in kind of like the middle ground. Yeah. Leg! Leg! Aw, oh, Kate, never change. You know what's kind of impressive with Kate is the fact that apparently she's been shaving her legs. You would think that that kind of, you know... You're yeah, it, builds, eh. it builds character. It's not like... How much worse could it get? Uh, <laughs> A trophy hat, of course. Well, it's not like he has any other options. I mean, he doesn't have a chemical suit. I mean, there are actually, well, there is a hazmat suit in the game, but... Please, yeah, but you have to go to a specific locations to get it. Did you check the uh, other wall of... Yeah, it was just random. Oh, wait, cap stash. Good call. And... Yeah, there's probably, you know... There have been times in Fallout games in the past where going into a location like this would cause you to hallucinate or have other effects. They just didn't do it this time. Paperwork. There's a file. Um, yeah, just folder. Okay. Um, what well, was a fire file for? God damn it, why are words so damn hard today? Yeah, I think aluminum canister is somebody mentioned before. But no, we want the exact opposite to happen of Kate getting sick of our shit. But why would you why would you want a triply hat? <laughs> a chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. You know, it's really gonna impress Kate when we sat there and screwed screwed up a novice lock. Sweet. Well, considering what's in it, she still liked it. Kate is like that, you Kate know. Kate looks at that and says, Oh, you sexy beast. She's like the textbook juvenile delinquent's girlfriend. Just about anything you do is going to impress her, as long as it's criminal in nature. Um, well, un unless. You know she won't, she won't like your drinking after a while. Yeah, eventually she'll probably get tired of it. Might as well eat some of my squirrel bits. Mmm, squirrel, the chicken of the tree. Sweet, level up. I know there's people ru running around shooting at us, but whatever. Looting? Exactly, well, looting takes priority. Well, unless the, they are, you know, sufficiently higher caliber than you, then, then, then it's more a case of... Did I ever talk about it at any point on the stream, my brother and the squirrels? I don't think so. Oh, God. But maybe maybe now is the perfect time for that. Okay, we are going to get our last access perk here, so now there is nothing in the game that we can't explore. All of the further uh, perks in hacking and lockpicking are just like, your lockpicks never break or you never get locked out of a computer. Which is kind of nice after a while. Yeah, and we moved it. Actually, you're, you know, I think I did talk about the uh, squirrels. Yes, the little dead squirrels in the freezer. Ah, see, I thought you were talking of referencing a different story, but yes. I mean, that was the same year he tried to chase down a turkey. Your your brother has a tendency to try to chase down a lot of things. I mean, he chased down a tur tried to chase down a turkey. He successfully chased down a deer. Uh, <laughs> not not on foot. That was with his car. With a truck. Yeah. We're, we, into into an orchard. Into an orchard. Where he hit the deer, put it in his truck, and when it got up, he punched it in the jaw. He, he punched it to death. Uh, yeah. Of course, then again, I, I really, I don't have a leg to stand on. I mean, heck, I, you know. Okay, rates is really close. Weird family things. Uh, takes? Give it a shot. Or cares, or mazes. That's it. Good call. Every now and then it happens, you know. Please, evacuate. Your brother's <laughs> hardcore. Yeah. Uh, he's hardcore something. 
Okay, so, so I'm not going to activate the current prototype here because that seems like a terrible idea. Bad idea. Non-lethal target suppression via electrical discharge. Yeah, we're not going to turn that on. Okay, view lab reports. Hallucinogen gas. Riot pacification in a frag... Okay, a frag grenade will definitely <coughs> pacify a riot. Oh, God. As you can see, two out of five injured by grenade explosion, one seriously. Five, five out of five suffered traumatic adrenal gland rupture due to gas exposure. Four out of five killed in ensuing melee. One out of five due to, died due to heart failure. So this is what all the gunners in here have been exposed to. Increased aggression. Just, just what gunners need. So I'm going to say that at this point it's probably, you know... Violent delusions? Hallucinations? Yeah, well I was going to say it's probably dispersed enough that it's not actually affecting us, but the gunners already had their adrenal glands get fucked up. Hmm... So Fucked let's up see. Adrenal glands. Hallucinogen eradicator. 49 out of 50 biochemical con contaminants neutralized, but all the test subjects suffered lethal doses of radiation. The test chambers are radiated. Yeah. Oh, also, current two ton weight unsuitable for field deployment. Okay. Oh. All right. Ooh. Oh, Tesla, Tesla science. Energy, energy weapons permanently inflict plus 5% critical damage. Please Duct tape. The Ooh, 45s. There we go. Uh, do, do, do. Would you go back to that uh, and look to the top of that uh, shelving unit? Uh, just a gas okay. can. Just making sure it wasn't a another thing. Who's there? Come around the side. Now I'm getting paranoid. Oh, advanced lock. Hmm. Wait, there was a Daredevil Netflix series? Nice. Yep. Hey. Was it any good? Hit me with your best shot. What? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna do that just because mine would be, you know, torture. Are, are you saying that it would be detected. bad? Yes, I know. I know that my sick. That was a mini nuke. There was a mini nuke sitting around inside of a chemical test section, test area where they had a bunch of mind altering, hallucinating, hallucinating objects, individuals. Oh shit. Who <laughs> threw that? I actually managed to hit a trap. Ah. But I also. You also managed to survive it, so. winning. Could have been worse. Huh. Well, you know, I, I, on, I honestly have not seen any of the new stuff on Netflix. We actually just canceled our Netflix account. Just, you know, not getting around to watching it. Yep. I am afraid of what our cats are doing in the next room. Was that the next room? I thought that that was in the game. Nope, that's in the next room. Yeah, well, better. Uh -oh. oh, okay. I think I'm going to have to go check on them. I, I, they give me a concern. Okay, security office terminal. Oh, wait. I know what they're doing. Little shits are shredding paper oh, in okay. the box. Okay. Yeah, we have a moving box full of paper, and they're in there. We have many moving boxes full of paper. At least they're empty of stuff. Okay, so what should our first word choice be? Um, let's see. You know, let's do pieces. A chemical leak has been detected. So Please forces has three in common, so probably an ES word. Like roots. 
four no. tribes. Nope. So right now all we know is that it's probably got an E. Dud removed. Why can't you just make your uh, password password? How about bricks? We can give that a shot. Nope, but the it's back to one, so I think that S at the end is indeed knights. Oh, go. the sweet kitty music of the night. Yeah, I could turn on the Protectrons, but that's no fun. Yeah, plus you never know, they might take you as the hostel. Repeat. A chemical leak has Hello, been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Yeah, I can just imagine them just turning on each other. Yeah. Ooh, quantum. Useful. Mm hmm You know, it makes you wonder, they've got a water cooler right here. Are we sure that the uh, people who were the test subjects were the only people being experimented on? Who can say? Who's there? You know, there's a really close resemblance between this being death, death grunts and groans, and just really, really graphic, nasty sex. Oh, well, that was the previous. Uh... No, I'm, I'm serious. Like, like. No, I'm saying that was the previous drug compound. Oh uh, well, yeah, that makes some sense, I guess. I don't know. And there's some gunner Check running for around. traps. Yeah, that was a whole lot of nothing. You said it, Kate. Kill, kill, kill. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. That's just rude. I was searching. There we go. Okay. Laser pistols. You know, some people just do not respect authority. That's true. <laughs> Which is usually not the thing with the gunners. They're usually all about respecting authority. Um, was there anything behind that mirror? Uh, I don't think so. No, no, no just, it's just a, a broken one. A security lockdown is now in effect. Repeat. A security lockdown okay. is now in effect. Please remain <clears throat> in your Oh. oh. Before we go in there. Yeah, let's not go in there just yet. That right Please there is the main test chamber the area. Oh, this what? is where those people were at earlier. We being followed. No, we're good, Kate. It's all good. Plus, you'd have to be insane to follow us. Yeah. They are as high as balls. Uh -huh. I don't think that they're as high as balls because I don't know the balls can get that high. Die, 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 yes, die. yes, they are shooting each other, and one of them has a laser rifle that uh, adds. Uh, Fire damage? Looks Is like it. Right. Evacuate the yeah. Oh, let's see, leather chest piece. This guy's got a... Yes, recoil compensated fiery, fiery laser rifle. Ooh, a test chamber terminal. Oh yes, let's find out about the... Uh, the people in these. And then nice. every now and then that happens. Uh, let's see. Oh, just looks like chemical leak, security lockdown. Somebody overrode the security lockdown. And that sounds like a winning plan to me. I think that's more a case of lucky hacker. <laughs> 
ghost in us. So Kate's about as paranoid as anything right now, and I don't blame her. Well, then again, with all the noise you're hearing. Yeah. Uh, you should check the trash can. Um, I and didn't. there was some, something in that. on the third shelf in that. Oh, here? Yes. Oh, just a rolled up newspaper. No, the, one of the higher shelves. Swear to God, there was something in there. It looked like a can of buff out. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. In the partially closed one. On the left. Okay, you might be right about that. Rad X. See? I mean, I'm, I'm down, completely down with all the enemies fighting each other. Huh, did I not check that one? No, no, you didn't. Well, I suppose I should probably do something about that then. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate. The Reminds me, there was a uh, story in the news the other day about like somebody on LSD who uh, saved a dog from a house fire that wasn't actually happening. They like hallucinated a house fire and then saved their dog. No, stop it! <laughs> but yeah, I gotta say, at least that speaks well to the fact that when they thought there was a fire, they saved the dog. Yeah, that is, you know, points points to their points to them, I guess. No, that they helped it. the dog. <laughs> I'll be honest, that the crying just makes me feel sad. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do a quick pause here.